Ryegrass is tougher than you may expect. Even at the end of summer, when the pasture can look dry and dying, it's surprising how quickly ryegrass can bounce back. But it relies on grazing your pasture to the optimum residual height. If there is little or no growth during summer, then a longer grazing rotation of 40 to 45 days will help you achieve target residual height. Get it right, and with a bit of rain, your pasture will bounce back quickly. Getting it wrong will impact pasture growth and potentially the persistence of your pasture. You may find yourself re-sowing pasture sooner than later. So let's go to Frank in the paddock and get a hands-on look at how best to manage your ryegrass residual height throughout summer. But we've managed to by supplementary feeding in, in the shed, but also outside here with feed, feed rings and, and hay and um, silage. We're trying to maintain our ryegrass cover in a state all year round so that it can produce to its maximum all year round. And, and we make sure we graze that to its ultimate so that we're, we're getting very high utilisation rates of our ryegrass. So we're growing a lot of ryegrass, good quality ryegrass, and we're grazing it down to a certain level. And in most cases, we're trying to get to around about that four, four to six centimetres, um, with an average of about five centimetres between the clumps. So you're looking at something like this over most of our ryegrass paddocks um, to maintain the pastures in a state that they're going to recover um, very well when, when we do finally get that autumn break. Four to six centimetres of residual height after grazing is important to maintain at any time of year, not just coming out of summer. Frank again to explain why. We are protecting the young shoots which will be coming soon from the, the autumn break and there's, there's already a few around but it's protecting the young tillers that will be starting to grow and there's already a lot of um, or reasonable amount of energy stored in that stubble itself. So even here and despite this past being supposedly really dry there is actually some green plants in there believe it or not. But what we're looking for there is uh, a lot of that stored energy in that stubble. If we've grazed it too short over time, um, we have very little stubble left for which to provide energy for the new shoots when we do finally get those uh, autumn rains. Uh, the other thing we're trying to maintain as much as we can by doing this also, um, we are maintaining within reason the density of our pastures. So we're getting maximum growth from our ryegrass pastures by treating it this, in this regard over the summer period. So in summary, the following points are critical to improving persistence of your perennial ryegrass. Maintain a residual between four to six centimetres to ensure you leave the plant with enough energy reserves to regrow once moisture becomes available. To help achieve this, you may need to adjust your grazing rotation. A 40 to 45 day rotation may work better during summer. Also, use a sacrifice paddock or feed pad for the cows during the day, and supplementary feeding over summer will help guarantee your pastures don't get overgrazed. Ensuring your pastures are primed for regrowth when conditions are right is critical for pasture persistence and the establishment of your all-important feed wedge. For further information on this or any other pasture and feeding topic, please visit www.dairyaustralia.com.au. Your local RDPs are another great source of information and farming support.